Hey guys, so today I'm comparing the Royal and Langnickel Essentials watercolor set. Um, this is their children's line. The Essentials line. With the Phoenix Artist Watercolor set. Um, they say is water is they say is uh, artist, but this is I believe all of their materials say is artists. Um the inside does say they're all color fast, and on um, I got this set in um, Ocean State Job Lots. The Amazon set also says it's artist quality, light fast. Um, this does seem to have light fast ratings. I just don't know how reliable they are. But this set was only five bucks at Ocean State Job Lot. I actually had to go to three different Ocean States to find the set, so these are selling out. I have a brand new palette. To use so i'm basically going to take um colors um i'm gonna take eight colors that are you know similar between the two sets and i'm gonna swatch them out using my trusty water brush and uh yeah basically i'm gonna swatch them out and compare them um so lindsay Wirk, the frugal crafter says that the tube set for phoenix is not as good as the pan set um honestly i'm I haven't really used the pan set, but it just, it feels chalky, like some of my less expensive paints, which, you know, it's, what is that, $5.99 for a set, so definitely less expensive, but, um, anyway, I really like the idea of going more into tubes, um, because I've used pans for forever now, so that's why I got the tube set, um, so let's compare, um, Let's see. Crimson. Crimson red. Our Royal and Lane Nicole would not be, um, would not be remotely light fast. So an orange. Yeah, let's see. Oh, Gamboge. Look at that, same name. Gamboge. Gamboge. A yellow, so this one, lemon yellow. Lemon yellow. Green, let's see. Um, everybody's interpretation of sap green is different, so I'm not sure how, how relevant these two are. Sap green. So, see, so let's see, red, okay, butch. yellow, green, sap green. Okay, so different green. I have deep and, um, let's do deep green for both. The Royal Lane Nicole does have a Thalo, so I do prefer Thalo, um, but, you know, we don't have a matching one, Emma Reese. So, um, I think I really do like Prussian Blue, so let's try Prussian. And Prussian. Two more, two more pairs. Um, ultramarine. Cerulean tends to be ultramarine plus white, I found. So, at least for um the Windsor Noon Cutman, Cerulean, I believe, is... Um, no, wait, Cerulean is thalo blue plus white. Kind of disappointing, but... Hey. Ultramarine blue. And then... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more pair. Let's do purple. Oh, I have rose and violet. Um, I don't think these are PV19. Oh, PV1. So there are color numbers. Um, let me know if you know if these are real. Um, because unfortunately, with a very, very expensive set, um, I wouldn't put it past them to 
you know, simply not have the real colors be the ones on the package. Um, or, you know, maybe have the, the color, but then have, you know, shall we say, mix of other things. The Roy and Lane Nickel have no, uh, no talk as to which one they are. So I have mauve and violet. I'm going to do violet for both for my last color to compare. So I'm basically squeezing colors out onto this palette, which actually has exactly the right number of wells. Um, but uh, anyway, the Royal Lane Nichols have these seal. I'll be honest, these are plastic tubes. The Maurice, uh, the um, Phoenix, sorry, the Maurice is another brand that uh, Ocean State Job Lot had. Um, but the Royal Lane Nickel is plastic tubes. The Phoenix are metal tubes, okay? Um, I just, honestly, they just have a better hand feel. They're supposed to be the same size. Um, so you can sort of tell, I guess, they're about the same size. The Royal tubes are a little bit flatter. Probably not as full towards the end. Um, honestly, the, the metal, the metal, uh, Phoenix tubes have just better hand feel. And the... Royal Lane Nicole seems to have the binder come out, um, I found for quite a few of the colors, because I have used some before. But anyway, just wanted to, uh, let you know what I'm doing with that. Okay, so I've, um, squeezed the two paint out. You can see right away that these, so every other one has this, like, gunky liquid um this liquid came out even with the tubes that i'd already used before so it looks like it's definitely the um the the liquid and the actual paint is separating um only once has the phoenix which is the one on the right had that come out and it was completely clear just a tiny bit at the beginning but all of the royal and lane nicole tubes had the the this filler liquid come out um some of it is much less than others but this is kind of distressing how it's this is supposed to be big gamboge okay this is supposed to be gamboge a um light yellow it's supposed to be yellow maybe slightly slightly um orangey but it's supposed to be yellow but look at that it looks like a brown so that's kind of very very distressing um like it's supposed to be this color like but yeah the, that dirty what is whatever that is they use to make these paints is making that yellow look terrible um just a heads up so while the Roaring lane nickel doesn't have pigment color uh numbers the phoenix ones you got to be careful because i looked them up even for example the vermilion which says is four star which is supposed to be comp you know the best light fastness um yeah, it's a fugitive color. It's a color that's no longer uh, in favor because it like just gets completely worn out in the sun very fast. Um, even yellow ochre, which is normally an earth color, is um, is using a fugitive one. So I just find that very interesting. Um, like for example, the Prussian blue PV PB twenty seven. It is considered okay for um. You know, it is considered not that fugitive. But even the stuff that's four star, you cannot trust that it's good. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know where they're getting these um these star systems from. Because some of these aren't even like rated. Or they're just widely known to be fugitive colors. So they say they're all light fast, but... They must be light fast based on a testing model that includes covering them in, you know, a sheet of lead or something. Because basically all the colors I checked with the exception of Prussian Blue are considered not light fast. Um, I mean, if you want, you can look up the pigment colors, um, by the, you know, by yourself. But I don't even know for sure whether the pigments that's listed on the label is the pigment that's inside the tube. Um, you know, how much of it is inside the tube. Um, and also, heads up, the Royal Tubes. I had Sap Green and uh, one of the others. The the little, um, the cap, just sort of like the thread, sort of just 
you know, it just doesn't hold. It makes it easy to overturn. Um, like, you know, when you're tightening the cap and it just sort of clicks off and, um, because the thread slip. Yeah, so two of these tubes, that happened. None of the Phoenix ones had that happen. So just from first impressions of the tube, much better system. And hey, at least they, at least they named the pigment number. You'll have to do your own research and, you know, see how much you trust their numbering. But, um, at least it's there. Alrighty. So, again, the left ones are all the Royal and Nicole ones. The right ones are all the, uh, Phoenix ones. So, the Phoenix skin boat is a little bit more of a normal yellow, I'd say. But, I mean, look at it. That, like, that sticky stuff is, I don't, whatever it is they're using to make these, I don't know if it went bad or what, but it's kind of disturbing. That's just a piece of uh, paper, a nap, napkin I, I used to clean off my brush, but that's a water brush. So, first impressions, essentially, I like the Phoenix's tube and their paint because of the gunk. So, anyway, let's, um, let's compare. This this feels more pigmented. Okay, so right away the Phoenix one is not as bright. Um it feels weaker, like the pigment's tinting strength is weaker. Cause I had to uh really go back in and dip. But, I don't know, it could be just this one particular color as well, because the royal one is very bright. But the phoenix one feels almost gritty. Gross. Gross. Yeah, this, this is not going to work out well. I mean, I guess it's not the worst. It's just so burnt. Um, I don't, I don't like this. It's more of a yellow ochre color than anything else. I don't, yeah, no. Yeah, and this is more of a lemon yellow than a, this is more like a Hansa yellow light or something. I don't, I wouldn't consider this Gamboge either. So of these two, neither of them are Gamboge. This is more of a reddish yellow ochre, and this is more of a lemon. Okay, this one's a much nicer yellow. But 
yeah, the um, Roy and Lynnico yellows, well, the, all the colors, they seem to have more pigment strength because I'm having to wipe off my brush on the napkin repeatedly, whereas the Phoenix ones is just running out of color halfway through. Then again, the Phoenix ones at least have the good colors. Yeah, see that? No wiping off my brush. It just goes to very light. Okay, I stand corrected. The Royal Linnaco one is the weak one this time. Oh, yeah. Phoenix is also quite weak. And this is not sap green. Too much. Yeah, see, this is this is a better impression. I mean, it's a little bit too bright, if anything. But I think of Prussian as more of a dark, um, almost like grungy vintage blue. So this is a much better version than the royal. The royal one is just, I don't know, it's just too light, I think. Let me see if I can go back with a little bit more paint just to touch it up. Yeah, no, it's just a very light paint. Just a, quite a light paint. So neither of them are my ideal person, but yeah. What can you do when dealing with such cheap paints, right? Wow. Look at that color. And look at that movement. Now, this is just a sketchbook cheap paper, but... Yep, definitely weaker. Definitely weaker. Last one. Wow. 
purple. This purple is amazing. It's really too bad. This is a color known to be rapidly fugitive and uh, change. I mean, really, many purples are just, you know, good purples are hard to come by, especially for cheap. But it's really too bad that the beautiful purple here is a known to be fugitive color. It's rated three stars on the Phoenix chart, but I mean, come on, I think we both know by now. Three stars means nothing for this particular rating. So, let's see. Overall, um, of the Rolling Linical Essentials line, which is the kids line versus the Phoenix Ortiz watercolor tubes. I mean, it depends on what you want. The Roy and Lane Nicole. So basically, first of all, unboxing experience, they're both very similar. I do prefer the Phoenix one because it's, um, it's got the cap that comes off and I don't know, it's just cuter and also is the metal tubes. And plus they don't have the threads of the cap um, getting damaged. So I prefer the overall unboxing slash use experience um, for the Phoenix. So Phoenix wins on packaging. The color vibrancy, I have to give it to Royal Lane Nicole. It's just the colors are more vibrant and they feel more pigmented. Phoenix does win on information because they give the pigment number um, and they give you a like fastness rating however their three stars seems to be the equivalent of like no stars like these colors aren't even rated they're so fugitive and also even their four star is not exactly like fast so take their rating with a huge grain of salt and um i don't even know if you can trust that the pigment numbers they give are completely correct um, so really no, no real winners there because if you can't trust them, that's, is nice. They provide the information, but you can't trust it. Um, so even though Royal though is better pigmentation, I feel like Phoenix overall is better quality in terms of it doesn't have that weird grungy brownish binder that separates out and comes out even with tubes you've used before um just a color seem well you can't really say whether which one's more faithful to the what the color's supposed to be like the crimson neither i mean i'd say the crimson royal but like look at this N none of these are quite completely authentic like i'd say prussian blue the phoenix ones Ultramarine, I mean, yeah, there is a tie. Um, I mean, I'll be honest. With the exception of maybe lemon yellow and I'd say sap green, right here, these two, maybe the crimson. Um, none of them are really faithful to what colors I think the names should go with. And of course, none of these are quite the proper pigment um, used. So neither of them can be expected to really last well. This is just cheap scrap, uh, sketchbook paper. So you can tell, though, that the Royal, um, at least with the blue, the Royal flows better. So it wets easier and it flows better. So take that for what you will. Um, In terms of the dried patches, I mean, honestly, both sides feel grainy. That being said, though, Phoenix seems to feel especially grainy, like, um, like there's a lot of fillers. Royal seems to may, may have less fillers. Okay, the Phoenix side feels rougher. Um, but, you know, that's, I mean, end of the day, though, which set would I get? Um, I mean, I have both, but if I can only get one set, I'd probably just get Phoenix. 
one is half the price because we're on Lanical is nine dollars and change so about ten dollars on amazon right now phoenix 4.99 ocean state drop lots i would not get the i would not get it online because it's like 15 dollars on amazon right now i would get it based on which set do you which what do you care more about if you care about easy to use um you know bright colors easy to use we're only nickel absolutely some of the colors are a bit off but overall very easy to use and really bright and pretty um if you care about at least the shall we say the image of artist quality get the phoenix you know they're nice metal tubes they have pigment information they have light fastness readings they say artist colors for someone who's you know maybe a preteen or even a young teenager whose stuff you really don't foresee keeping forever and ever and ever yeah absolutely get them the phoenix stuff they'll feel like a real artist even while you're saving like 90 percent off a real artist set um if you are in the market for something a little better i'd recommend cotman um i have a couple of cotman tubes and um, pants and they are awesome or honestly, I use everything from child grade all the way up to um, F. Grumbacher Academy and Cotman, really. Um, I mean, it's whatever is in your budget. And end of the day, I use kids grade stuff. I use the um, I use this no name, no name palette right now on cheap sketchbook paper. This sketchbook was from uh, Walmart actually. Right now. Walmart has them on back to school sale. Um, this is a slightly paler cover, but um, it's the kind of cover you put your own uh, image inside. And it's like $1.76, I want to say, on sale for back to school. This year's cover color is um, this pale, dusty blue. But um, I do believe the paper should be similar, if not the same. It, there's no promises of acid free or anything. And honestly, I've had a few paintings that I wish was on better paper, but I I have no complaints about this paper. I have like four of these sketchbooks in both this little size and I actually have the bigger size. I love it. Um, it's versatile, easy to use, and overall, I just think it's a really quality little book for under $2. Cannot recommend this enough. Anyway, thanks for um, watching my video and um, let me know which one you pick.